Hi, and today I'm going to show you how to create a non-inverting amplifier using a 741 operational amplifier in Tinkercad. So let's get started. So I'm going to set up my breadboard first. I'm going to hook up my power supply by clicking on the positive and dragging that over to positive. Clicking on my negative and then dragging that over to my negative. And I always like to change the color of the wires just to indicate which one's positive and which one's negative. In this case, red for positive and black for negative. Over here on the left-hand side, I'm going to tie my power buses together. So I'm going to tie my positives together like that. Just to red. And connect my negatives together just like that. We'll change that to black. And then we're good to go. So we have our breadboard set up. We have our power supply hooked up. We have our power buses tied together. Let's put an operational amplifier in the middle of the breadboard. So we click on the IC here. We want to put it across the valley here. <clears throat> Next, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to hook up power and ground. So we are going to find the power pin, which is down here. Actually, this is the the ground pin. So I'm going to run a wire from pin four down to negative, which is right here or ground. Change the color of that wire to black. Up here on this side, I want to find my power plus pin, which is here. So I'm going to connect that to positive, just like that and change the color to red. So now my pin, ha my, my chip has power. Now I want to set up my inputs and my outputs. So my input is going to be a potentiometer, and that's going to allow me to change the voltage that I have on the non-inverting pin, which is the positive pin on the input side of the amplifier. So to do that, I have to create a voltage divider with my potentiometer. So I'm going to change the value of my potentiometer to 10K, and I'm going to Connect terminal one here to ground. Change the color to black. Connect terminal, oops, that's red. Do, do, do. Change the color to terminal two. Connect that to positive. Change that to red. And then the, the wiper pin becomes my input on my non-inverting side. So I'm gonna click here and just run a wire right over to there. And that's gonna allow me to vary the voltage on my input pin. Okay. And now I'm going to be able to see that by using this meter down here. So I want to connect my meter um, to my circuit here so that I can detect what the voltage is on the input, on the, on the non-inverting side. So I change my black probe, to, or my, excuse me, my ground probe to black, and then my positive probe, I'm going to hook that up to the middle pin of the potentiometer because that is the pin that's going to change in terms of voltage when I turn the knob on the potentiometer. So let's start our simulation here in Tinkercad, click. And right now I'm seeing zero volts here. If I turn my potentiometer knob, I should see the voltage increase, and I do. And it's gonna go up to whatever my power supply is set to, in this case, five volts. So I'm gonna go over to my power supply, click on it, and I'm just gonna change the voltage to nine volts. So that'll change my input voltage to nine also here on the breadboard. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna set up my output. And my output is gonna be, is going to actually feed, why are you not moving? Because I have to stop my simulation. What I would need to do is I need to set up a voltage divider over here. And a voltage divider, uh, simply put, is, is a couple of resistors in series. And each resistor is going to use up or divide whatever the source voltage is. So um, in this particular case, we have two 1K resistors. I'm actually going to change the value to 100K. For both of these, 200K resistors. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the top of my voltage divider to my output. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to output half of my sort my my output voltage back into the inverting side of my amplifier. Now it seems, sounds kind of complicated, but really all we're doing is we're we're inputting a certain voltage over here, and whatever voltage that we're inputting, we're getting a certain voltage out over here plus some kind of gain, whatever that gain is. In this particular case, because we have two resistors that are the same value, um, we divide them. So 100K over 100K, that just gives us one. 
and then we add one to that so we get two. So our, our gain or our amplification factor is going to be two. If we put one volt in over here, we're going to get two volts out over here. Pretty simple. Um, so let's let's see what we have here. So now, um, actually, let's hook up our meter here. So we need to hook up our output meter, which is here, to the circuit. So I'm going to hook up my ground probe to ground, not positive. Change that to black. And then my positive is going to go to the output of the amplifier. In this case, it's up here. So that's the output of my amplifier. And as I said before, because this is a 100K resistor and a 100K resistor, um, those two divided out will give us one. And then we add one to that in terms of our amplification, and that gives us two. So whatever our input voltage is, is going to be amplified by a factor of two. So let's start our simulation here. And I'm going to dial my potentiometer down to zero here. Now we're getting a little bit of a, of a uh, amplification here, even though we have zero volts here. Let's turn this up to, and let's see if we can get close to one. It's a little hard with Tinkercad to get exactly the value that you're looking for. Okay, so there's 1.08 on my input side. So I'm inputting 1.08 volt, volts, excuse me, into my input, my non-inverting input. And on my, my uh, output side, I'm getting two times what my input is. And again, that's set by these two resistors here. They form a voltage divider, and there's feedback here. So the output feeds back through these resistors um, back into this pin over here, and that's where our amplification takes place. So we're getting one volt in. That'll give us two volts out. As with all amplifiers, uh, there is a, uh, <coughs> a uh, max here. So the maximum would be your source voltage. So your source voltage here is nine, and that's indicated up here on your power supply. And our amplification can't go higher than that. So even though our gain is set to two, um, if I get to 4.5 here, you can see, let's see if I get to 4.5. Okay, so I'm at 4.5 now exactly. Ah, I've got to hit 4.5 exactly. So my gain is two, so I'm getting nine volts on my output. But now as soon as I get to anything higher than that, notice my amplification does not change, all right, because I've already maxed out what the chip can do because of my source voltage. So I can't amplify past what my source voltage is. I can only go up to what that source voltage is. In this particular case, it's nine. So with a amplification factor of two, my maximum input is going to be 4.5. So anything between zero and 4.5 will be effectively doubled.